Ed Esquito coming at you with another Tactics Talk. This time we are going to talk about reading teams and reading the flow of the battle. So reading teams, let's start off with taking a look at, if you're running XVM, what the team setup is and the skill of the team. So we won't get too crazy about the skill. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Let's talk about the setup. Initially I'm looking at this and they've got some heavies up top and we've only got one heavy. So right away I know that if they get a bunch of heavies coming up top, we could be in some serious trouble. Good news is our mediums can get up there pretty quickly. If you take a look at the deployment, we did lose a few of our tanks down here. At least we won't get fast capped. That's a little more than I would like, especially the ISU. I'd love him to be up top. But of course, we got another two down here. So we're actually pretty light coming up on the hill. And the hill is pretty critical on Himmelsdorf. So right away, I'm not exactly too happy about what's going on here. See my shiny T44-100? And I can tell, reading the map now, that they have a bunch of their tanks right there. The 01, the T-34, and some others. So I'm going to get a shot on this Firefly as he comes in. He makes a mistake trying to get through. So what are they not doing? Let's look at the flow then. And then let's look at the skill of their team based on what they're doing. They're all on the back side. So that hold down spot's not bad. Depends on how you use it. We don't really have that much of our power up here, but we've already stuffed them and kept them. The question I have now is, are they going to try to push up? So let's find out. They're not really showing any sign of that. Initially, I'm thinking I want to go tuck up in that corner. By that corner, I mean this little spot right here. It can be a dominating spot unless there's enough of them to push right around and nuke you. So it's easy to be killed there. Let's see what happens. I'm reading the battle, and I'm thinking about it right now. I'm thinking, man, I think I really want to get up there. This team is not showing any real knowledge or capability of this map. Now what's going on? We've had some guys with pretty good hold down. T29, Jackson, and Pershing. Excellent. They can do some great work there, so long as they don't get swept off that hill by a bunch of the enemy down here, and the enemy's not showing any sign of that. So reading this battle, I decided it is time to get up into this corner, and I think I can do some good work here. The 4202 is exposed. I'll cut left, get behind the rubble. He, did, he sees me now, and he's just going to get abused here. So let's talk about the skill of the team real quick. I did note it when we started. We had a 73%, and in general, most of their players weren't that great. That doesn't mean I'm going to auto-win, but it is something to inform what's going on. And as I'm looking at the way they're playing, they're playing like that. And it looks like we're going to have an advantage over it. I didn't notice that T20 up there. <laughs> That's pretty good. I have no idea how he did that. And we're going to continue to work this team that's hanging out in the back. Shot on the 4502. Not in the back, but in the back side of that hill. Now I'm going to track that T-34. He fires. I know I can get in there. This is a timing issue with reloads. I track him again. He's got pretty good repair because he had just repaired it. I'm going to come in. I'm sort of hoping he shoots, but I'm going to come in and get a shot. I wanted to kill him, but I actually ended up tracking him, but that will end up taking care of him because he's staring at those guys, and I can now fire and kill him. And still, their team shows no apparent knowledge of exactly how bad that position is right now for them. Coming here at the top of that 4502. Those things have amazing armor. I just happen to drop it right on top. And of course I leave them at 1%. Why wouldn't I? Make a mistake here. I did not see at the time that Ryan medal. I'm lucky he didn't nuke me. I had a nice shot at him too. I do see him this time, so we'll put some shots into him. And we'll continue to work it. Now this game is pretty much over. You can tell this small force that we have up here has been able to stuff a larger force. The rest of their tanks haven't done a great job. Our IS-3 has pushed through in Tank Alley, and we're just going to continue to work on these guys. But it's a great example of looking at got lucky there of looking at what the enemy team has. XVM is fine if you want to look at it, but I also looked at the types of tanks. Made a few assumptions about how I thought it might go, but then I let the actual game prove whether that was true or not. Ended up working over that guy's corner. The 01 wants to shoot me. Turret's relatively weak on that thing. As long as you don't get it a little too angled, you should be able to punch right through that thing. And of course this is a win, so you don't need to watch the rest of it. But just take that to heart. Take a look at 
what the team has as far as tanks, take a look at their skill, but then also pay attention to how they happen to be fighting the battle. And if the flow of the battle looks like you can be aggressive and push into them, then do so. Take it easy.